Hey, this is Mike down in the uh, little project area, and I was going to do an example of a easy way to trigger the store-bought props that uh, are usually the try me button type, and they've got a little light sensor on the front of them. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little, it's a little remote unit, I think they're 315 megahertz. If you do a search on eBay for Arduino remote, you'll usually find them. And they're a four channel thing and you can get the remote with a battery in it and one of these receivers for about five bucks. So they're a pretty good deal, but uh, first I'll go ahead and kick this one off to show you that it actually works, so. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to turn it off so it doesn't keep going off on and off while I'm talking here. And then I'll show you what I did. I just, uh, in order to kick that thing off, I've got a piece of black tape over, uh, I shoved an LED, just a plain old red LED. This one, I bought it pre-wired and it was set up for 5 volts, but the, um, uh, so if you want to run just a raw LED, you'd probably want to run like a, maybe a 1K resistor in series with it. But um, I'll just show you what happens when I turn this on and off here. You can see that the uh, I've got the A hooked up to channel 1 and it's all it's doing is just lighting that LED on and off. And then you shove it into the, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, but... Yeah, it's kind of tough to tell from this angle, but there's a little hole here, and coincidentally, um, they're like a snug fit for an LED, so you just shove that into the hole, and then, uh, yeah, with a four-channel remote, you can control five of them, or actually, <laughs> four of them. Not very good at math, but um, I've just got this thing plugged into, uh, it's a five-volt uh, wall adapter, so you could use like, uh, you know, an old phone charger or something like that. And these, um, you can see it from this angle, um, it's ground is on the leftmost and then five volts is the next one in. And then you've just got four channels. And then this last pin, you probably won't use that one, uh, goes high if any of the four channels are pressed, but for this application, you probably wouldn't use that. And then you just got to, uh, wire up solder up a piece of wire onto the antenna hole there so that uh, it can receive I'm not sure what the specs are and how exactly long that's supposed to be but uh, I just use an old uh, jumper wire and it works fine so so yeah that's just a little um, tip or trick to uh, kick these things off using a, a remote and that's it so happy Halloween and uh, have fun with your projects thanks